Is your Amazon Fire Stick turning your movie night into a frustrating slideshow? That spinning circle of doom. We've all been there. But don't you worry. In this video, we're going to run through the most effective fixes for a frozen Fire Stick. Let's get started. Solutions 1. The Simple Restart Let's start with the easiest one first. Just restart it. And no, I don't just mean putting it to sleep with your remote. Hold down the play slash pause button and the select button together. That's the big circle in the middle. For about 10 seconds until your fire stick restarts. You'll see the Amazon logo appear. This clears out the device's short-term memory and stops any glitchy processes that might be causing the freeze. It works more often than you'd think. Solutions 2. Check your internet connection. If a simple restart didn't do the trick, your Wi-Fi might be the culprit. Streaming HD video needs a strong, stable connection. Navigate to setting network on your Fire Stick. Check your signal strength. If it's low, try moving your router closer or removing obstacles. Test internet speed to make sure your Fire Stick getting good internet speed. Slow internet speed might reason freezing Fire Stick. Solutions 3. Free up space. Just like your phone or computer, your Fire Stick can slow down if it's running out of storage space. Go to Settings and Applications and Manage Installed Applications. Here, you can see how much space you have left. If it's getting full, consider clearing the cache for specific apps, especially the one that's freezing. You can also uninstall apps you no longer use. A little free space can make a huge difference in performance. Solutions 4. The Nuclear Option Factory Reset if you've tried everything else and you're still dealing with constant freezing, it might be time for a factory reset. Warning, this will erase all your settings, logged in accounts, and downloaded apps. You'll have to set everything up again like it's brand new. To do this, go to settings and go to My Fire TV and scroll down reset to factory defaults option and confirm reset. It's a hassle, but it's the most effective way to wipe out any deep-seated software bugs causing your problems. We hope one of these solutions got you back on track. If it did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more simple tech tips to make your life easier. Thanks for watching.